Sir, what is going on YouTube's What's up team HUD? Today we have an Impreza 2020 with me and I'm gonna make a video from Crosstrek owner's perspective. This is my first time driving an Impreza. So how does it feel like? That's what will be in this video. And I'm guessing that after this video, I'll be, I'll be on the hit list of Impreza owners. I may say something that might offend them. Let's find out. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and enable all notifications. Here, check them out. This is the new 2020 lights and also the grill is shorter. The tail lights have a smoky smoke. The tail lights are like smoky this time. <clears throat> all right. Just making sure that this is a 2020 Impreza, not a 2019 Impreza. And now that's out of the way. Why do I even have the Impreza in the first place? What happened to my Crosstrek? I sent my Crosstrek for a service, the first service. Now, I have said this in the past that I will be servicing my own car, I know. But there were some issues I wanted to wanted Subaru to take a look at in the warranty. So American viewers, you understand that this is a loaner. Now for my Indian viewers, I'm just going to take a minute. Kya hota hai yaan pe? अगर तुम कार सर्विस पे लेके जाते हो बहुत सारे शोरूम्स में ये करते हैं आई मीन डीलरशिप्स या सर्विस सेंटर में करते हैं कि तुम अपनी कार लेके जाते हो वहां पे देते हो और तुमको वहां पे बैठना जरूरी नहीं है तुमको और एक कार दे देंगे और वो तुम लेके आ जा सकते हो यू कैन ब्रिंग दैट कार यू कैन यूज दैट कार फॉर 2 और 3 डेज व्हाटएवर अंटिल दे फिक्स योर कार एंड देन यू कैन रिटर्न दिस कार एंड टेक बैक योर कार तो ऐसा चलता है सो बैक टू लोनर्स बट यू नो व्हाट हैपेंड आई वाज गिवन एन ऑप्शन ऑफ choosing an outback actually they didn't even give me an option they said we have an outback and i was like don't you have a cross track another cross track that's stupid right imagine if you were giving the choice of taking a outback a literally new 2020 outback as a loaner why would you ask for a cross track i the cross track was not available and i took this impreza instead of outback now that is because i wanted to check something it is the same engine as the cross track so i wanted to check something with the way power is being delivered in the car i really wanted to check a few more things with the suspension and all that is the only reason i took an impreza or else i would have taken an outback okay anyway now that we have the car we gotta take a look so i'm inside the car looking at the internals pretty much feels similar similar until i move my focus from this side to this side and immediately i start missing my car because there's like an 8 inch system right here and then there is like a 5.5 inch display screen with multicolor and can do a bunch of things that this does not have even the ac controls are quite uh, different i mean it's like you've gone five years back and the shift stick is also pretty cost cutting i would say it's not pretty i mean <laughs> And then suddenly I noticed that there is no heated seats. There is no X mode. The same design, but the materials feel a little different. Now, everything that I've mentioned, you can probably go up the level. I don't even know. I think this is a Impreza base. I'm guessing by the, by the wheel caps that I saw of the car, but maybe in the sport or whatever the next model is, you can have different things except the things you will not have is an x mode <coughs> excuse me which i am freaking out about because i need the x mode that's the whole thing about the cross track and the orange stitching yeah there is no orange stitching i don't think you can even get the orange stitching of course this complaint is mostly visual so what's important is how does it feel to drive and yesterday when this was handed to me at the dealership I took a longer route back home just to feel it and the first thing I noticed are the pedals the brake pedals and the accelerator the, the gas and the the gas and the brakes damn I'm so confused with the Americans say gas and brakes Indians say accelerator and brake so both of them are horrible and that's not the Impreza issue I can tell that it's not the Impreza issue it is probably the maintenance issue which which makes me wonder how my car is going to get serviced at the dealership. And this will be the first time I'm servicing. It's my first car in USA and the first service in USA. So there might be a video about the feedback. But I'm just wondering because this is the owner car and the way that the pedals were like, no. And I had given them complaint that I my pedals are a little soft. 
if this car feels okay to them the way it drives then i think they will not have any problem with my car they will not see it they will feel it's a perfect car of course it's a perfect car but there are some things they just need to adjust anyway that aside the more i drove this car i realized what's the difference between the crosstrek and impreza in the corners this thing has a more planted feel like really planted than a crosstrek has and especially if the corners are a little bumpy you will really notice it and also for a weird reason these seats are more comfortable than my crosstrek limited like you've paid more money for the limited you want the seats to be more comfortable i find this more comfortable so now i can see why people would want an impreza it's more comfortable to sit in for some weird reason the seat design should be same maybe it's the, it's not having the leather in this one is making it more comfortable i don't know what it is but it definitely is and as a daily driver if you want this car gives you more mileage way more mileage than a crosstrek and it is planted and it actually drives sharper except it can't do off roads like the crosstrek can but if you're not into so much of off roading why not an impreza it's also more affordable to own also while driving i was surprised that i got comfortable with the car very soon it's because it's, it's the whole subaru thing is like same it's kind of the similar thing you know the same awd it's got uh, same kind of a dash despite these a few changes that i've mentioned it's got an eyesight system imagine for the money that you spend on the impreza you still get the awd the all wheel drive system you get the eyesight and if you don't drive off roads much why would you even want to spend on a cross track this is it all right now back to the exterior i'm going to say something that will piss off the impreza owners this might be a wrong angle that i chose because it actually looks good from this angle but there is one angle which is around here i can't hold my camera here because i'm kind of sitting in mud to take this shot but you understand keep this in mind when i talk about this actually you know what let's just fucking do it so here's what i think i know that crosstrek has come from impreza it's like a lifted impreza or it was a lifted impreza until it came onto the subaru global platform they call but to me as a crosstrek owner who's like seen the crosstrek first and then like experiencing the impreza to me it looks like somebody took a crosstrek took off the bars whatever makes crosstrek beautiful right took off the bars took off those the rough bits that make crosstrek a crosstrek 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 a crosstrek and then put the car into a hydraulic press and compressed it from the top like look at this long it's it's there is something about the aspect ratio that is is kind of weird i don't know why there's something about the aspect ratio that makes it look like either it should have been a little shorter or i don't know maybe the wheels taller i don't know what it is but it's damn it actually looks good in the video though or it may be this angle like it it kind of looks like the you know you take a picture of a cross track and you you just widen it like this and you forget to widen it like this you're editing the picture and it's just a weird wonky aspect ratio okay you may not be grown up watching cross tracks because cross track just came recently but if you're watching impressors for a long time you may not feel this jeez i'm lost you know i might be actually nitpicking at this point but it does look like it's a cross track whose suspension got stolen and is just resting on its tires Subaru Impreza owners don't don't issue a hit on me for this. You know I have this feeling it's probably because it's a hatch or five dollar as they call it, but the sedan version of the Impreza actually looks good. I don't know what it is. It's just I can't put a finger on it. But overall I would say this is a bang for your buck and I'm hoping next time we will take the Outback and try it out. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Follow me on Instagram at @hardworkingbiker. Sayonara. check this out we've got idiots like this in america too i thought this is only something that you would see in third world countries what the fuck shame on you